you are new to my channel, welcome. And what I like to do is talk about basically anything classic rock with a bit of a twist. So if you like that type of thing, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll know anytime I post a video. How cool is that? YouTube is the coolest thing on the planet. It really, really is. So let's go ahead and get into some classic rock news. David Bowie, I loved the late David Bowie who didn't. Well, David actually had two different colored pupils. Who knew? I, I didn't know that. I'm, I'm sorry, I just didn't. But it didn't happen genetically. It kind of happened on purpose. Well, it really did happen on purpose. So when David was a teenager, he had a friend named George Underwood. No relation to Carrie. So one day, George had his 15th birthday party, and of course David was invited because they were friends. Well, there was a girl named Carol Goldsmith. Now Carol, she was, she, she put a whole ringer into everything. She really did. Because George liked Carol, and David liked Carol, so it was kind of like a triangular modern love type of thing. You get what I did there. So George asked Carol out and Carol said, sure, I'll go out with you. And George said, oh my God, that's so cool. So Carol goes over here and then David talks, well, this is gonna, this is gonna be David. So David talks to George and says, but I liked Carol. And David said, but she said yes to me. And David's like, oh, it sucks. So he goes away. So later on that same night that David asked Carol out, George, I'm getting completely confused. George sees David talking to Carol. So George is like, dude, I told you I asked Carol out. This is, I'm looking at David and Carol, but really, I should be looking at George. So George said, I asked Carol out. So Carol probably went away because she was frightened. And George really got mad at David. So he, he popped him in the eye. Now, as not nice as that is, they're 15-year-old boys. They were drinking, smoking, doing whatever. So it got heated. From that point on, David actually got a permanently dilated pupil out of that whole Carol lowdown thing. So David actually thanked George later on in life for popping him in the eye, probably not, but he thanked him because he really capitalized on the fact that he had two different colored eyes. That is, I fascinate myself sometimes. Pretty cool story about the late legendary David Bowie. Guns N' Roses, so they have had so much success with this Not In This Lifetime tour, why call it quits now? So they're adding, I think, six more shows in the fall. They're gonna do four arena tours, and they're gonna do two very intimate shows at Caesars Coliseum, right? Coliseum at Caesars Palace in Vegas. I was there not too long ago, and I actually had the shirt on when I did one of my pictures, but anyway, I digress. I don't know why my mouth went like that, but I digress. So, now these arena shows that Guns N' Roses are going to do in the fall, they're like 20,000 people. That's how, how big these arenas are. But intimate, Caesars only holds about 4,500. So those two shows are gonna be the ones that you're going to want to go to. Now, these guys have been to six different continents with this tour, uh, 159 shows. They've made half a billion dollars on the Not In This Lifetime tour. So again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it and they're not fixing it, they're moving ahead with it. So you go, you go, go, Guns N' Roses. Speaking of not breaking anything, Gene Simmons, he likes to talk, right? And as I've said over, you know, the past couple of months, we haven't really heard too much from Gene because the guy is on his end of the road tour with Paul Stanley and the rest of KISS. So he can't be out talking to people, you know, even with all the Ace drama and Ace like really going on, he's going on Gene big time. Gene has been kind of quiet about that whole thing. He instead, now of course, Gene is, let's face it, however you think of Gene, whatever you think of Gene, he is the ultimate businessman. There is no getting around that. So in November, he is going to do three speaking engagements, so far in Canada only, and he's going to do a whole Q&A tell-all event 
with Gene Simmons. Supposedly you can ask him anything and he'll he'll answer you honestly. I mean, he seems to be like a pretty honest, upfront type of guy. So you can go to GeneSimmonsCanada.com for all of that info. And I'm kind of thinking if those ticket sales go really well, he will expand upon that. I don't know how these guys fit all of this other stuff into their tour dates, but they do manage to find a way. And of course, Gene, if it, if it is about making money, he will. <laughs> He will find a way. I have to say happy birthday to one of the Beatles, Mr. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney, 77 years old. He was knighted by the Queen in what, 97. So he's a sir, he's Sir Paul McCartney. I, I'm sorry, like do you ever get a special hat for that, a medal? I think he did get a medal actually. Um, he has been nominated for and this kind of blows my mind because again, you go into, you, you look up stuff, 78 Grammys Paul McCartney has been nominated for. That's a lot of Grammys. That's a lot of gold statues on your shelves. 18. He's won 18 Grammys out of 78. I mean, that's really not a huge ratio, but that's 18 Grammys. That's pretty good. And he's won like so much other stuff, it's it's not even, it, it's just crazy. It's just crazy to even go down the list. And Paul McCartney is worth about $1.2 billion. Billion, not million. 1.2 million, let's face it, how much is that worth today? Nothing. You can't even like buy a Bentley for that, right? If it's 1.2 million, we can get a couple. Maybe like if you wanna get a couple for a friend or something like that, but $1.2 billion, Paul McCartney. That's, that's how much money he's got. I, he's probably gonna split it up like amongst different banks because I don't think one bank is big enough to hold 1.2 billion. I can't even imagine. So it's his birthday, 77 years old. He can get as many birthday cakes as he wants and still have cash left over. That's pretty good. That's pretty, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Paul McCartney. Again, I've, I've got my Steve Perry stool here. It is, it is going to be here until Mr. Steve Perry joins me. Because here, here is my whole thing, right? I come up with these theories now about Steve Perry joining me because people have reached out to me. They're starting to, people are starting to reach out to me about this whole Steve Perry thing and they're like, why, why would he want to talk to you? So here's what I've come up with. He just turned 70 years old on January 22nd, okay? So this coming January 22nd, Steve Perry is going to be 71 years old. Now, a lot of people have different things on their bucket list, like maybe you wanna to go to Italy or you want to go to Iceland or you wanna do something crazy, you wanna bungee jump off of the Empire State Building, something crazy. But I think on Steve Perry's bucket list should be to talk to an absolutely insane woman in the tiniest studio on the planet. I mean, how cool is that to have that on your bucket list? And also, really, think about this. To be sitting so awkwardly close to an insane woman in the smallest recording studio on the planet, that's something else to add to that bucket list, and I think it's a good idea. I really do. Have I started coming up with questions to ask Steve Perry? Of course I have! I've been waiting for this moment for, like, decades. I mean, imagine talking to Steve Perry. I thought it was crazy when I just sat next to Lou Graham. That was insane, and as soon as that interview was over, I'm like, did that even just happen? Did that really just happen? And that is going to be what is going to happen when I talk to Steve Perry. Now, again, very awkward. Like, I gotta lift my leg, I gotta come over. It, it's awkward, awkwardly close. He'll be right here because there's nowhere else to go, really. So will he want to do that? I don't see why not. I mean, you know, he's moving on, time's a ticking, here we go with the fake watch again, but it's, it's moving on and we gotta get this done. Steve Perry with me, Kiki, with my Harley Davidson shirt on. Maybe I won't wear the shirt. I think it would be really a nice gesture to get a Steve Perry shirt. What do you think? I think I'll do that. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on that Steve Perry shirt. So guys, you know what? Thanks so much for hanging out. 
I truly, truly appreciate it. Again, please hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate that too. And you guys have a great day, a great night, a great weekend, a great everything. And as always remember, most importantly, because you know what? Music just makes us happy. So remember to keep rocking.